so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hello, Moose. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And check this out. This is a giant moose. And today, you and I at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington are going to see some awesome animals. Maybe we'll see a moose. I am so excited. Let's go. Bye-bye, moose. Whoa, check out this radical off-road vehicle. This is so cool. This is what you and I are going to take the tour in. <laughs> Let's inspect it. Make sure it's nice and safe for us. Check it out. These are some big wheels and tires. Whoa, and look at that tread. That is some big tread for some massive off-roading. Yeah. Whoa, check out that up there. That is the canopy top. Just in case if it rains, nothing will hit our heads. It's kind of like an umbrella, but for a vehicle. All right, let's check out inside. Whoa, hey, check this out. Hello, hello, Northwest Trek. Flippy's here. Can I come on the tour? Hey there, Flippy, you're clear for the tour. All right, you heard him. We're ready to take the tour. All right, first we need to finish our Vehicle tour. All right, check this out. This is where you fill up the vehicle with gas. Yep, it's nice and full. All right, there we go. Oh, now into the back of the vehicle. Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, there's so many seats back here. Whoa! <laughs> So cool. I'm gonna sit right here so I can get a bird's eye view of all the fun animals we're about to see. Let's go! Woohoo! Whoa! Do you see those animals? Those animals are elk. Hey, and look at that one. That one has big antlers. That one is a boy. And all those other ones are girls. <laughs> See you later, elk. <laughs> oh, looks like they're playing. See ya. Oh, let's go explore some more animals around here. Whoa, check it out. This is a bison. Whoa! And do you see how it has some fur on the side? Yeah, some really short fur and some long fur. And that long fur is called a cape. Yeah, that means this bison is a boy. Whoa! This bison is so big, it weighs the size of a small car. <laughs> Whoa, this is so much fun at the Northwest Trek. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that animal? That is a moose. One way I can tell that that is a moose is the thing that it has under its chin. <laughs> That's called a bell. Whoa, and there's another moose over here. Hello, moose. Hey, moose. <laughs> Do you see how that moose is moving its ears? Yeah, they have some big ears. They can probably hear really good. Let's see. Hello, moose. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was being really quiet, and it heard me. <laughs> Check out those animals. Those animals are big horned sheep. You see their horns? Yeah, if you look at them from the side, it kind of looks like a circle. <laughs> wow, what cool animals. Whoa! This is so much fun at Northwest Trek. We are finding so many animals. They are so cute. <laughs> Oh, 
there's three goats right here. Hey, I think you and I should count them. One, two, three. Yeah, three white goats. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, goat. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, looks like two are leaving. Three minus two is one. But they're still there. So there's three. <laughs> so silly. Wow. So cool. That bison is massive. <laughs> and those goats are really small. It's so cool that these two species of animals are living right next to each other. And they're getting along. <laughs> Northwest Trek is such a great place to see animals that are native to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah! Huh, well, we gotta keep going because we have so many more animals to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those birds? Oh! Oh! They're so big! Those are bald eagles. Do you see how that one has a white neck and head? Yeah, because that is an adult. But that one right there, with the darker neck and head, that means it's a juvenile, which is five years and younger. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Whoa! This is the wingspan of a bald eagle. Whoa! It has a bigger wingspan than I do! Whoa! Go! 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 Whoa, do you see that animal? <laughs> that animal is a raccoon. Whoa, raccoons are so cute. <laughs> yeah, you can find raccoons in a lot of places, like out in the wilderness and even in the city. Yeah, sometimes I hear my garbage at night getting ruffled up. <laughs> and actually, it's a raccoon just trying to find some food. <laughs> Do you see that? Those are itty bitty chunks of food for an animal called river otters. I am so excited. <laughs> oh, do you see those animals? Those are the river otters I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and they're eating lunch. Oh, come check them out. Hey, there they are. Wow, <laughs> they look really hungry. River otters can actually dive down 60 feet underwater. Whoa, that's about 20 meters. That is really deep. <laughs> Check them out. Whoa, that is a wolverine. It has some really sharp claws. <laughs> and its teeth and jaw is so sharp it can crunch through bones. Whoa, and these animals are really fierce. They have to be fierce because they live in the wilderness. Whoa, <laughs> what cool animals. Whoa, do you see those animals? Yeah, those are bears. They're actually grizzly bears. <laughs> These are the biggest bears that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, they're so big! And their smell is so good, they can smell food from 20 miles away. Wow, that's like about 32 kilometers. That is so far. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I act like bears? So we get on all fours, but when you hear music, then you stand up. Ugh! and growl and dance like a bear. Ready? All right, act like a bear. Ah! 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 Ah!
<laughs> that was so much fun today at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington. Wow, we sure did learn about a lot of Pacific Northwest animals today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too? Oh. And they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow! Oh! Whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada, <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, Maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. <laughs> Oh, and the watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, 
This bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow. Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. Check it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, it looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown. 
and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf. But if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet, and look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Whoa, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Well, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal? Bird is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. 
Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then, let's grab the snacks, and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good, welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you, what are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers, oh. and these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey. Wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk. And if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah, it's a really strong smell and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands and that says, hey, don't mess with me, more bad things are coming and if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> This is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute and his fingernails are so long, or toenails, and he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, 
Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs>another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow, and Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. Whoa, she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs, <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle, but these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert, yeah. Whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, 
look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Alright, see you again! Bye bye It'll make you wanna shout